Hi everyone, welcome to A Plus Calculus and this is the series Desmos is God as you can see and in this part of the series we are going to cover inequalities or system of inequalities well actually inequalities and system of inequalities so you can solve any inequality and even a system of inequalities using Desmos so let's see the first one says that for which for which of the following tables are all the values of X and their corresponding values of Y solutions to the given inequality so the given inequality is let's change this to red so the given inequality is y is less than 6x plus 2 and we have to find out that in which of the following options the x and y values will be solutions so one way is that you can do it manually you can take all the points one by one for each option and see that which table satisfies the inequality for example if you take option a x is 3 y is 20 so you write 20 here and less than 6 times 3 plus 2 so 6 times 3 is 18 18 plus 2 is 20 so you get 20 is less than 20 well that's not correct how can 20 be less than 20 20 is equal to 20 so this is just the first point is not satisfying so option a is not correct if we go to option b and we take the first point of option b it says 3 and 16 so write 16 is less than 6 times 3 plus 2 6 times 3 is 18 18 plus 2 is 20 so 16 is less than 20 well this is fine and similarly you will check for all the ordered pairs for 5 and 36 7 and 40 if all the ordered pairs satisfy this inequality then you would select that particular option if not then you will move to option C okay this is how you can do this question manually and now let's see how you can do this using Desmos see all you have to do is uh, first you should know that uh, you can also plot inequalities on Desmos we can plot inequalities on Desmos so that's what we are going to do y is less than 6x plus 2 we will type that y is less than 6x plus 2 so this dotted line that you see this dotted line that is the graph of y is equal to 6x plus 2 and let me just get my pen yeah so this line that you see this line this dotted line this is the graph of y is equal to 6x plus 2 and this shaded region that you see this black colored region which is shaded this region consists of all the points which will satisfy this inequality okay so now all you gotta do is you just need to take the points uh, the points which are given in the options and just check which point like in which option all the ordered pairs lie in this shaded region okay so for that you should use the table option select table and let's plot all the options one by one see we already checked option A was not correct let's start with option B so the points are 316 316 then we have 536 536 then we have 7 and 40 7 and 40 let's see where are these points okay see um, this is one point which is inside this uh, region this one 
316 is inside the region uh, but this one 5 comma 36 it is outside the shaded region so option B is also not correct now let's check the option C option C is okay 316 we are checking option C so 3 comma 16 again add a table 316 then we have 528 then we have 7 and 40 okay where are all the points so this time I think all the three points are inside this is these are the three points and all these three points are inside the shaded region so option C is correct option C is correct you don't need to check option D now the next question is based on system of inequalities because you have two inequalities which makes a system of inequalities and it says that which point is the solution to the given system of inequalities in the xy plane so again uh, if you want you can do it manually you can check each point for example you check option A you put it in both the inequalities so if I put it in the first one so it is y less than or equal to x plus 7 and the point is negative 14 0 so you write 0 is less than negative 14 plus 7 0 is less than well this is going to be negative 7 and well no negative 7 is not greater than 0 negative 7 is less than 0 so option A is definitely not correct check option B 0 negative 14 so this time you have and remember you have to check for both the inequalities right now I did not check for the second one because the first one was not true so you don't need to check the second one um, let's check option B so negative 14 is less than or equal to 0 plus 7 negative 14 is less than or equal to 7 well yes that's true 7 is greater than negative 14 now but you also need to check the same point for second inequality second inequality is y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1 and you can just plug in the point and you can check if the statement becomes true this is how you can do it manually now how will you do it on Desmos it's very simple just plot the inequalities one by one so the first inequality is y is less than or equal to x plus 7 y is less than or equal to x plus 7 and then y is greater than or equal to negative 2x minus 1 okay now um, see you see two shaded regions one region is uh, shaded in green color and one region is shaded in purple color so the common region the region that is common to both of them is this one right this is the common shaded region for both the inequalities right all of this now all you need to do is again you just need to check which point will lie in this common shaded region so we'll plot all the points one by one so negative 14 comma 0 negative 14 comma 0 plot let's plot all the points and then we'll check 0 comma negative 14 0 comma negative 14 then we have 0 comma 14 and 14 comma 0 0 comma 14 and 14 comma 0 right and I need to zoom out and let's erase this oops 
okay so you can see all the four points this one this one this one and this one the only point which lies in the common shaded region is this this one green one which is 14 comma 0 so option D is correct we have a similar question uh, but in this one we have the point is partially given to us which is a solution and we have again we have a system of inequalities we have a system of inequalities and they have given a point x comma 53 which of the following could be the value of x well now you can plot the four points one by one or you can add a slider I'll show you two methods how you can do it on Desmos so let's erase all of this first step plot the inequalities so you have y is greater than 14 and 4x plus y is less than 18 4x plus y is less than 18 okay so again we have uh, two shaded regions one region was for y greater than 14 the purple one and then the region for the black one the common region you can see it is it's this is a common region wait a second let's erase all of this so you can see the common region is this one this is a common shaded region now what you need to do is you will take the point the point was um, x comma 53 so just type it here instead of x take any other uh, probably a or b so a comma 53 see because if you type x comma 53 it will not give you anything right it will say too many variables I don't know what to do with this so instead of x you take a it considers A or B as a parameter and whenever it sees a parameter it will give you a slider so you have a slider for A and select, uh, select on that slider and right now this point is is not um, inside the shaded region the common shaded region see you want if this point has to be a solution then this point should lie in the common shaded region this point should lie in this region the common shaded region right now it is outside so you need to you know adjust the slider so that it comes inside the shaded region so if you move it towards the left I think it has to be less than negative 9 yeah see when I am taking when I've taken a as negative 9 it is just on the it is just on the dotted lines wait let's zoom it in okay it is inside it is inside when a is negative 9 and if we move it right at 8.8 negative 8.8 .8, it is still inside now let's see the answer choices answer choices are negative 9 negative 5 5 and 9 well I think negative 9 should be correct because if you take anything greater than negative 9 negative 5 5 9 I think it will move outside of the shaded region right right even if it is negative 5 it is way uh, way far way far than the shaded region so the correct answer is negative 9 